Predator is hosting the Ducks, and the Ducks are plus 172 on the money line. The Predators are minus 210. The over-under is at 6.5 goals. The Ducks getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 138, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Predators laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two goals or more. Now, they played each other once this year in Nashville, and the Ducks won that game 3-2. to two. It's supposed to be Gibson and Soros. Neither goaltender has been confirmed. Head-to-head, -head, the Predators are 7-3 and three against the Ducks, but the road team is on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5 five and five in their last 10 meetings. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 6-4. and four. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including the last two that they played against each other. The over is 5-4-1, and one, and the over-under at 6.5 goals is 5-5. Five and five. The Ducks have looked much better since Zegras has come back. I understand they're not winning these games, but they've been getting buzzsawed with the schedule that they've had. Uh, they, they're they on a five-game losing streak. Two goals and a loss, one goal and an overtime loss, one goal and a loss, two goals and a loss. But the losses were to the Coyotes, the Oilers, the Maple Leafs, the Jets, and the Red Wings. It's not like they were out there. I mean, the Coyotes are a questionable loss, but that's a pretty tough uh, schedule to get you know, handled. For the Predators... They are 3-1 and one in their last four. There was a total of five goals, three goals, nine goals, and seven goals. They scored three goals in a shootout win, three goals in a win, three goals in a loss, and then four goals in a win. I just have a funny feeling that the Ducks are going to win this game. They have looked cohesive. They scored in the first 20 seconds of the last game that they played, and yes, I know they lost to the Red Wings, but the Red Wings are on the uptick. I'm going to take the Ducks with the money line. I'm going to take the Ducks getting the goals, and if they win this game, it's going to be an over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.